Hello, my name's Mel and I'm here to talk about briefly body positivity and how that has changed from body positivity to fat acceptance. But not just fat acceptance, the denial that there are many diseases related to morbid obesity out there. The second one is that the body positivity movement, which is a fantastic idea, has turned into a fat acceptance movement. And a lot of young girls are being drawn into this. And young men. Sadly, diet culture is aimed more than women and men. So, it's that I was 300 pounds in my 20s. I had a baby. I topped up to 300 pounds a year later. And it was disgusting. You know, um, for me, 300 pounds in the United Kingdom is like being 600 pounds plus in the US in terms of how other people would treat you. And I didn't want to be the mum who couldn't run after her kid. You know, I had other issues, such as hypermobility in my joints, and a thing called degenerative disc disease. So I have many stories around this and reasons why you know, losing weight doesn't help with degenerative disc disease. But it helps with not getting type 2 diabetes, which is in my family too. Also, heart issues are in my family. Then. But one of my main things is, I'm seeing a lot of young girls, or young women, sorry, I do apologise, because people in their 20s and 30s, who do go to doctors, who do get told that they're pre-diabetic. You know, that they've got blood pressure issues when they're like 22 and that's awful and when these girls go to their acceptance you know support group they're told to shut up no it isn't it's nothing to do with being fat or overweight when it patently is and then they get dumped out of these groups so all the friends they thought they'd made, because they probably grew up with them, like I did, being bullied. Um, and by the way, I was bullied when I was an American size uh, eight to ten, which is nothing when you think about it. And these kids are getting thrown out of groups because you're no longer making money for the people at the top of the tree. This is another thing. This acceptance situation is becoming a cult. And you have some of these people who are models, um, like Ashley Graham, someone I've seen issue with is Tess Holiday personally, in my opinion, allegedly, yada yada yada, don't come for me, I'm a lawyer, I will come back, I bite. And as you can see, I need to get my teeth out. So I don't care. No. And no, it's nothing to do with men. I wish, at least that I would have found that. But, um, I want to be able to create a safe space for people who are survivors of being treated incredibly poorly by um, the fat accepted and we need to pull that back and actually create a safe space for people who are interested in their health as well as being able to feel sexy with a couple of extra pounds. And we're not talking about real thin heroin sheep models. You know, we're not talking about pays being completely wrong. But you can only be healthy up to a certain size. You know, if you have to use a scooter to walk further in a few steps, 
you're disabled. And that's a direct consequence of your weight. So, not a good choice. There's also issues in the UK that if you see people using these scooters and they're on welfare and they're getting disability, uh, the NHS is something you don't, no one pays for. Well, we pay for it in our taxes. So I pay for it. My husband pays for it. These people don't because they're not earning, they don't have jobs. So for us in the UK, seeing people abusing, essentially abusing the system because they don't want to lose weight, it's pretty angering when it's our money paying for them to live like that. But that's like a different thing entirely. Um, this is about saying, it's okay if you want to lose weight. If you've been told by your doctor that you need to be healthy, that if you don't, you could be dead by 30. Look how many people have died before the age of 30. I'm in my late 40s. I'm proof that you can lose weight and you can keep it off and you can survive and you can thrive. And that's what needs to be told. And that's what I would love to create as a space with other currently smaller creators to create a group. Um, if that's possible, that would be absolutely awesome. But if it's not, it's not. I just want to be here as an elder. Because I am. Because how many people who weigh 300 pounds plus in their late 20s are around to see their late 40s? And not be in a wheelchair or in a mobility scooter or a suck in bed with the lymphedema. So that's kind of it. So it's about health, support community. Real friendships. No bullcrap. And honesty. And I think that's kind of it. Um, so yeah. Like, share, subscribe. And all of these when you're and I'll speak to you soon.